Hi guys. I thought I'd just do a little documentary type video of Thorn. And we're starting at Thorn North Station. Which is the main line. That way is up to Hull. And down that way to Doncaster. Kept nice and tidy, I must say. Credit to those who work here. I don't know if you'll read that, it's just telling you the times of trains and what trains are coming in and what time. There we go. We'll move on, I'm going to pause this for now. Okay. Well, here we are, guys. Opposite the uh, railway station, what we call the Dells. Popular fishing place. And across there, as you can see, they've got a nice little cafe. You can get a hot meal, a sandwich. But, yeah. A nice relaxing day out at the Dells. There you go. Now this is the A614 out of Thorn. Takes you up to Selby, York. Yeah. Right guys. Right guys. Here we are. This is the Punch Bowl Inn. And I just thought I'd stop off to just talk about this. This used to belong to Mr and Mrs Pidd that used to own the butcher's shop in the marketplace. Um, Mrs Pidd had a, a cafe above the butchers. They were really nice people. Um, I got to know them because my auntie used to work in the cafe above for a few years. And we, we came to this as a house and they had tennis courts at the back there, really nice. I just thought I'd just give a little talk on that. Later on in the video, I will show you where the butcher's shop was in the uh, in the marketplace. Okay. Here we have next next door to the punch bowl is Thorn Police Station. Now it was closed down for quite a number of years it wasn't really used as a police station and I'm not sure really what they're using it for now it's a lovely building I'm sure they used to hold uh, a court in, in here um, but uh, they cross there you can see it used to be the public library that one and that's all closed down now and they built a new one the library a bit further up but uh, yeah, I mean it, it, it is used now. You do get there's quite a lot of uh, police presence there, but I don't know if it's manned 24 hours or not. But as you can see, now the inspector's house was built on the end of it. Um, whether it's used now as a house, I don't know. But you can see there's plenty of activity going off in here at the minute. Yeah. Well, it, it is a nice, nice building. Shame for it to have been stood idle. Yeah. But yeah, then you can see across here, you see the public library. Now, I think that was the... Uh, Head librarian's house used to live in there. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it was there. Yeah. 
That was a nice building. Yeah. I don't know if it's used now or not at all. It looks used. Or well, the house does anyway. Yeah. Nice solid building. Now uh, next door there, you can see that house next door and I'll walk round to it. Dr Stamp used to be my doctor when I was uh, growing up. Um, he used to have he used to live there and he had his surgery there. Yeah. But yeah, we used to walk walk down there to his surgery. It was a funny setup because she used to go into the surgery, sit on the seats, and as everyone was called, each person was called in, you'd move along to the next seat so you didn't lose your your place. It was, it was quite good. And he was a nice man, Dr. Stamp. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Right, guys. In front of us there, you can see towering above the skyline there. Used to be Darley's Brewery, and the building down in front of it used to be the pub. Now I first knew it as the Northeastern Pub, and then years later it was changed to the Corner Pin. And I think last off they called it the Mail Horse. Now it's uh, Screeton's um, belongs to Screeton's. Yeah, we yeah, now it used to have a, a great chimney at the side of that place, but for some reason they knocked it down. Okay, there across the road there used to be Thorn Picture House. Spent many a, a Saturday afternoon in there as a child, and had grown up taking the girlfriend in and what have you. Yeah, um, it was changed into a house and uh, it was on a TV programme showing showing it being all changed but, uh, yeah here we are guys I said I'd uh, show you a picture or a video of uh, what used to be Pitch Shop now it's a pizza shop but uh, yeah upstairs there used to be uh, a cafe that was run by Mrs Pitt down downstairs was a butcher's altered at the front now a bit to what it was but uh, Mr Pidd used to make the most tastiest um, pork scratchings my auntie used to when we were working up in the uh, cafe she used to bring home these pork scratchings and she used to bring me some down again and they were absolutely beautiful not good for you but what is that tastes nice yeah there you go yeah. now this place I did in one of my videos and I was building it it used to be the site of the old Hearst's uh, ironmonger shop brilliant shop as well it was but uh, they built this in, and that used to be where the old police station was and they built it very much on the same lines as the police station but as you can see it's still empty and I'm afraid it's going to be empty for a, a long while yeah it's such a lovely building though but uh, yeah, there we go.
Here we are guys, this, this is the main bridge in and out of Thorn. Um, been up quite a few years now but where this one is, the pedestrian walkway, used to be a, the main bridge across. As you see the old road there, uh, it was the old, I mean it was the old A614 part of, which is a main access road to your, to your coast, your Bridlington and Scarborough, York, to the main places. Yeah. But they built this one to stop congestion. Have you ready yet? Because it was only one way bridge, you know, you stop at one side and let the other traffic across. And then uh, like, uh, vice versa. Yeah, it's a very nice little spot actually. Here we are guys, we're in Thorn Memorial Park. See the memorial there over in the distance. There. Now just down here, when I was a child growing up, there used to be a, an outdoor paddling pool. And I believe it was fed from the canal. Oh, you see all sorts in it. But it never bothered us. It's a splash about in it. There's all sorts of water boatmen and blowing things swimming about. But we never bothered. I don't think they allow it nowadays. But, uh, yeah. Never. A little railway running around there, little trains running around for the kids in, in summer. There you go. We'll head over to the uh, memorial and we'll uh, have a look at that. Here we are at the memorial. A tribute to all the Soldiers who lost their lives during the two wars. I don't know if they'll be able to read those on the back there. Maybe if you pause it. See from this that uh, this side gets the most weather. The look of it. Yeah. Across there is the bandstand, and some of the have uh, live music, brass bands in playing. Very nice. Bring your deck chair and sit down and. Good afternoon and a picnic. Very nice. So all the little uh, ducks on here now. Yeah. 
Here's their fountains going, but there's no one going today. Yeah. There's the uh, bridge that was showing you earlier. The main bridge going out of Thorn. There. Okay, guys. You know, people. <laughs> Just to show you this, people have put stones in there, set stones in the concrete, and it got vandalised. What kind of person does a thing like that? They won't put it down. You know, it's, it's just, it beggars belief, it really does. I bet they haven't had anybody killed during the war, and if they have, well, I don't know what to say about it. I can't think much of them to come and vandalise. Right, guys, I'm just going to finish this little video of uh, Thorn with a shot of the narrowboats and the canal. Very nice. And there's the canal winding its way around up to the lock. Lovely pleasant spot. Yeah. I mean with them houses in the distance there it was built on the site of the old Dunstan's shipyard. You could hear them riveting, oh, for miles. Yeah, you see all the, the swans there. Yeah, lovely thorn really, especially when it's sunny. Okay, guys, that's it.